So today I've got Frankie with me, who works at Vikings Vape. Yeah. Frankie has been kind enough to bring along the OFRF, OFRF. OFRF Gear RTA, and uh, that's what we're going to be looking at today. So let's dive down and have a look. Right, so here's the packaging of the OFRF Gear RTA. As you can see, there's a little window in there. You can see your RTA. This is the black one with the red on the top. On the side, we do have some specifications about what is inside the kit over there your scratch authentica authentication thing I always struggle with that word and then some more information on the side then on the inside of the box you will get your user manual you will get some cotton with the aglets uh, other people call this shoelace cotton also you get some coils in here 0.33 ohms and uh, these are nichrome coils also a little baggie with some spare o-rings and grub screws, a little screwdriver, and then inside you will get your RTA with a straight glass. Let's put that to the side. You'll get your bubble glass and then two drip tips, one black and one frosted. The frosted one, that's the bore on the frosted one. It looks like it's a little bit larger than the bore on the black. But we'll see how that goes and there is your bubble glass right bottom of the rta you can see there's the name gear by ofrf also a little logo right there uh, gold plated 510 pin it protrudes a little bit got a peak insulator all around it this thing is really short really really short the airflow adjustment the airflow ring is here at the bottom you can see closing it off opening it up Another one on the other side, whatever you will do on the one side will be the same on the other side. I must say, I quite like this gear logo design thing they've got going on here with the red. But uh, let's open it up. Threading feels pretty smooth, no issues with that. And it's red on the inside as well. Two huge full ports. There and there. And there's the chimney section. Let's have a look at the deck. This is the deck of the OFRF Gear RTA. As you can see, you've got flat screws going in here. You'll need a flat head screwdriver. And these screws, they look really chunky, the heads. Frankie tells me he had absolutely no issues with these screws so far, but we're going to put a build in here and vape on it. Frankie's going to tell us what he thinks about it, and I'm going to tell you what I think about it as well. So when you put in your coil in here, do not put one leg here and the other leg there and think you're going to put your coil in like that. It's not going to work. You're going to use both sides. So one leg will go in there and it will come this way. Your coil will be sitting this way in here and the other leg will be coming this way. Or the other way around, leg there, leg there and your coil will be sitting there. Cotton will go through and the cotton will go down into these juice ports right there. Looking at the chimney section, you can see it's really, really short fine threading in there but the threading no issues very smooth and uh, I can't quite decide if this is really domed enough for me I would have liked to see a little bit more doming going on there in the inside but this apparently gives great flavor but that remains to be seen popping off the glass is really easy there on the inside you can see uh, gear it looks like it's engraved in there and on the other side this is the way Frankie cleans shit a little bit wet but anyway the OFRF logo so putting on the bubble glass is really easy just pop it on if I were to use the gear RTA I will most likely use it with the bubble glass because the capacity with the straight glass is something like two milliliters and with the bubble glass it is no Frankie 3.5 3.5 with the bubble glass right so let's quickly put a coil inside this bull deck going to be using the coil they provide the 0.33 ohm nichrome coil okay so there I've got the coil on the inside now you can see it's pretty close to the airflow but the closer to the airflow the better the other thing which I quite like about this build deck is how easy it is to get a coil in here you basically just drop it in and tighten the screws down this is the other thing I really like about this build deck there's a tiny little lip right there that will keep your coil from popping out while you tighten it down so screws very very smooth the threading 
Uh, I really like the way this thing builds. Really, really easy. So I'm going to put some cotton through here, put it down in those wicking holes and fill it up and then we're going to vape on it. So let's head back up on top. Back up top with the gear from OFRF. Uh, if I look a little bit sweaty, it's because we just finished our braai. So had a nice braai, had some nice steak. Also played some Beat Saber today. Yeah, it was intense. <laughs> Good time. So OFRF gear RTA. So Frankie, what are your thoughts? Uh, to be honest, to start off with, um, I saw the hype on social media about the, the new Gear RTA and I was actually very excited to test it out myself and in my opinion, very nice bolt on it, bolt quality is very nice, a bit of restrictive flavor on it, which in my opinion is nice, especially for it's a, it is an odd looking RTA, but in my opinion it has lived up to the hype and I actually enjoy it a lot. Cool. Uh, I've used it today for a little bit, not as extensively as Frankie. But what I saw from this is the build deck, very easy to build on, easy. not really an issue. Uh, as you saw on the dive down, you just drop in the coil, tighten the leads. Very, very easy to build on. The one thing that I don't like about this is the fact that the capacity is only 2.3 mils for the straight glass. The bubble glass, 3.5 mil. Now, you saw the coil we put in there. Um, it goes through juice quite quickly. But overall, build quality of this thing is excellent. Flavor-wise, for me, it's pretty much like every other single coil RTA. Uh, I also saw the hype on social media. This is the best flavor. It, no, it's, it's not the best ever. It but it gives cool. decent flavor and it's decent build quality. And I kind of like the look of this. It really, is. really cool. Something different. That's with the airflow fully open. And then when I close it off halfway, this is what it sounds like. Very restrictive. Gives a little bit better flavor. So all in all, odd looking RTA. Very, very odd looking. <laughs> pretty decent flavor on it. Thank you, Frankie, for providing this. Uh, head out to Vikings Vape in Curie Avenue here in Bloemfontein and go check out the website, www.vikingsvape.co.za. Thanks again, Frankie. Thanks for it, it's me. been a blast. Uh, had a braai, blade beat saber. <laughs> it's been a good day. Until next time. Cheers.